you know, take a chance, make mistakes, get messy. That's my philosophy to teaching. I figured with these kids, the more they could touch something, the more they could put their hands on it, the more they could fail with it, the better they're gonna learn it. STEM allows us to fail. It's okay to fail. Learn from your mistakes, you know. Okay, it took you 10 times to get it right, but that's 10 times not to do it that way. John Phillips is the kind of teacher and you'd want your child to be in his class because you know you're gonna get feedback. You know your child's gonna be happy. You know your child is not just gonna be reading textbooks and doing worksheets, that they're actually going to be involved in research. What I'm trying to accomplish is a better understanding of how science works. Um, taking what my core subject matter is, whether it be electricity or rocks and minerals or if it's phases of the moon or animals, and just finding a different approach to teaching it to the kids. My daughter Taylor has Mr. Phillips for homeroom, social studies, and science classes here in the fourth grade. Taylor has unfortunately never particularly been interested in science. My five-year-old asked a question about circuits. Before I could even answer, Taylor, sitting next to him in the back seat, pops up with this explanation about circuits and how they work and why it makes the fan go when the light switch is cut on and off. My husband and I looked at each other and went, yes, this is great. This is exactly what we want for her. The famous Diet Coke and Mentos. That's our very first science experiment. So they're doing research. They're learning how to write a research paper. They are talking about the scientific method. And we end up with about 80 bottles of Diet Coke and about five pounds of Mentos. And we go out on the playground and we will start dropping Mentos and Diet Cokes. I nominated John because he excites students about science. I remember the first time I saw him in action, he was out on the back playground and he was sending up the Mentos and soda streams and the kids, it was just raining on the kids. Our final project at the end of the year is our fantastic egg drop. Each child is given a live egg and they have to come up with an apparatus to protect it when it is thrown from the top of the school building. Sometimes they, you can hear them hit and everybody goes, ooh. So the more I can make science relevant, make it fun, engaging to those students, it's gonna stay stuck in their head. He is a very gifted teacher. He is absolutely an asset to Brooks, to our community, uh, and to the students who are fortunate enough to have him as a teacher. You know, it's pretty clear that if kids don't have some hook into it um, by the research by sixth or seventh grade, chances are not good that they're going to be hooked into it. But definitely Mr. Phillips' classroom helps them hook in at an early age. And I think what's important too is many years afterwards when students come back, they're like, yeah, Mr. Phillips, he was awesome. When you see that student that got the idea or understood the concept or is something as simple as made a light bulb come on, they accomplished something. They did it on their own. I want to leave this world better than I came into it, but I enjoy just seeing the kids' eyes light up and understand something new for the first time. It's kind of a neat feeling.